Right. Unified field, human nature. Unified field, human nature. Well, the hook that we all understand, the starting point, is the food, the sex, and the attention. Food, sex, and attention. The main needs of our lives and relationships. And that our lives function on. This is human nature. Food, sex, and attention. Now, Unified Field is about quantum mechanics, relativity, and gravity. And the basis of this Unified Field theory is there's a video signal, and an audio signal, and a pressure signal. And those three signals are combined into the super pixel. But we cannot, well it's very difficult to grasp the understanding of the super pixel, but we can deal with the expression of the unified field in our human nature so that we are the nature of the universe you know our, the dimensions of reality and the dimensions of mind are the same so we need to see or understand the unified field in terms of our human nature and the key is in food, sex and the attention so we'll start off with the food so the food we can see there's a pressure now originally in the organism this would be osmosis there's a pressure on the salts on the membrane because from the pressure only comes when there's a cell when there's that membrane that surface that feeling that different wave that pressure so this is a pressure signal and the pressure is, if you like, to find food, but it can be actually physical f pressure to actually eat. And then there's a flow of things, is the food passing through you. And this pressure and this food is what we, this pressure we experience is gravity. And the food is our physical body, where we dance, the movement. So we can also have this sort of childish view of things, there's the dance or movement. There's music and there's drawing. Mu movement and mu music and drawing. Now we go back, so you've got the food, which is the flow of things through us, of the materiality that we're eating. And that puts a pressure on us to get food, and then we're under pressure if we eat too much. So we feel empty pressure to get food, and we experience that in, a, in our stomachs. This is why babies cry, because they empty the pressure for food. This is the pressure signal. We come on to the next, sex, relativity, audio and the soundtrack. Well obviously this is the audio signal, the audio signal, you know the changes in the sounds. And this is then the soundtrack to our lives, all the sounds and everything that goes on. And you know, that sound, sound is a standing wave, is a waveform. And then during waveform is what creates sound. And it's this approach and going away, the space and sound you know, the space, the echo lo location, the recognition of the space through its echo qualities. Then we've got the rhythm and the regularity of the sound in the music. And then we talk about sex as making music. We talk about sweet talk. Sweet talk. The sound of love making. The soundtrack. The sound, the sweetness. The, the sweetness in the voices uh, together, the harmony, 
or the dissonance. Because now we, you know, not only sex, it's sexual dysfunction and you know, aggravation, irritation between people as well. But well, this is a relativity. You know, the th things change, and and strangely, it is relatives, isn't it, resulting from the sex? So, and different relationships, whether we get on with each other or not, and how well we get on, whether they, they if you like, they're sexual or they're not. But we've got, you know, the, the sweet talking together, the communication, the necessity of the communication, if you like, for the consent, but for the communication, for the understanding. Because in the sex there is, again, that communication, that oneness, that love seeing the self in the other. So relativity is related to space-time, which is being in a certain place at a certain time, which is what we do for our sexual activity. We make a date, a certain place, a certain time, your place or my place. See, the audio, the word, the sound, the agreement, the communication. The, but the, the, the relative is that space-time. And that and relative is also the energy, the energy oscillation from full moon to new moon in our sex lives, in our feelings. But there's an energy cycle, and and it is this what is what the relative is about. An energy cycle e equals m c squared. See, so energy cycle, an energy cycle. So there we have the sex, the relativity, the audio signal, which is then the soundtrack to these frictions and sweetness in our lives, the relativity, the change, the changes. And we come on to the attention. The attention is seeing the light or following the light. And that's the video signal. And this is the video signal, the quanta of the video is the quantum mechanics. So the video signal is the level of quantum mechanics. And that's where we get our attention. Attention, giving each other attention, needing attention attention being related to the identity. The identity is given attention, is respected. We give each other attention. We need attention, we want attention. And that attention is following the light, noticing each other, communication. But communication in terms of being present, you know, being with each other, not just talking, but being together. You know, see, we say about seeing each other, don't we? seeing each other. The unified field is human nature. So the unified field is what we see is a projection of the synesthetic, the super pixels. Now the senses are derived from these three triangles. If you look at my other videos, they, in, they each form triangles and the dimensions of those nine, di the nine dimensions and the one, the point, the point of attention, the point of the, the superpixel, the quantum gravity, the position in mind, the position in space. So then from that superpixel there's then the projection of the dimensions on these three signals so that the super pixel contains the information for three signals video audio and, and pressure and different aspects of those give rise to the senses and these together in our experience because super pixels you know, have to transmit energy what they call dark energy is prana life energy is what's flowing through us consciousness The dark energy is what we are. 
or what creates the world, what flows through our minds that activates the super pixels to, to project this reality. And we experience that projection in these three things, you see, food, sex and attention, these three things are a flow of energy. We experience food as a flow of energy. A flow of energy, a flow of food through us, but a flow of energy moving, dancing, to, or working, working to get that food, collecting that food, cooking that food. Sex is also like a flow of energy. That flow of energy is in the dark energy, the prana, the same energy. Down here we call it the Kundalini, here we call it the sexual energy. And here we call it the spiritual energy. You know, being present. Being present with each other. Giving each other attention. And that attention is a level of quantum mechanics. And quantum mechanics is a video signal. And it's two dimensional. We're seeing a drawing, a cartoon drawing of faces, you know, surfaces moving in relationship to each other. This is the world of quantum mechanics. In relativity we're moving, the sex is energy moving, but we're moving from place to place at different times on a schedule. This is the sphere of relativity. These are the distant senses of smell hearing and heat and then we come on to the food, the flow of food and these are the contact senses of taste and touch and orientation, position, posture kinesthetic, kinesthetic sense so all of these the video, the audio and the pressure are integrated into the super pixel and they come out in these three things, the food, the sex and the attention, all flow together, fit together in the unified field coming from that pixel, super pixel. And those different signals give rise to these different aspects of reality. The video gives rise to the quanta, quantum mechanics. The audio gives rise to the relativity, you know, the space and time, the sound has got to be at a particular time and in a particular place. It's over there, it's over there. The sound, we can hear it, you see what I mean? That's the relativity. And then we have the pressure signal, which is the flow of things. The flow of things through us in the food, but the flow of things of us moving through objects, collecting objects, working for objects, all objects in the sense of food flowing through us. So the flow of energy through food, sex and attention and these three aspects of our lives, of our human nature, the food, sex and attention are the gravity comes with the food, the relativity goes with the sex, quantum mechanics goes with the attention. I suggest you look at my beginner's mind video, my pure understanding videos.